I've added the new unique glyph from the Abattoir of Zir into each Paragon board for the Rogue class, and in this video, I'm going to share with you what those results were. What's going on, guys? So using the data we know right now about the Tears of Blood unique Paragon Glyph from the Abattoir of Zir, I wanted to go through from the starter board all the way through every single board available for the Rogue class to kind of get an understanding of what the hell is this thing actually going to do, how strong is it, and what can we look forward to if we do push it to level 200. And how does that also affect rare nodes? So without further ado, let's dig into these boards and see what that mathematical percentage is going to be applied to us and our characters going forward to dominate Sanctuary and have a real nice time. After you've slotted all the appropriate nodes and you get the maximum benefit from a Tears of Blood level 200, here's what you can expect with the data that we have so far. You're going to enjoy 3,636.1% increased multiplicative damage, an additional 49.8% damage, 50 dexterity, and 498 armor. There's two rare nodes on the starter board that also get affected. That's Lawless and Skillful. The Lawless rare node will provide you with an additional 1,047 additional armor and 35 dexterity, assuming you hit the bonus requirements. While the Skillful rare node is going to provide you with 104.7% increased damage and 35 dexterity. Moving on to the Cheap Shot board for the Rogue class. With all nodes selected, you can enjoy 4,288.9% increased multiplicative damage, an additional 74.7% damage to crowd controlled enemies, 50 dexterity, and 14.9% damage reduction from slowed enemies. The two rare nodes on the Cheap Shot board are the Devious and the Wiles rare nodes. Devious will provide you with 157.1% increased damage to crowd controlled enemies and 35 dexterity, and in addition, the Wiles Rare node will provide you with 62.8% damage reduction from slowed enemies and an additional 35 dexterity. Next up is the Eldritch Bounty Board. When maxing out all of the nodes available to get the best benefit for Tears of Blood, you're going to receive 3,880.9% increased multiplicative damage, an additional 37.4% imbued skill damage, 50 dexterity, and an additional 10% potion healing. The two rare nodes on this board are going to be Potent and Dosage. Potent is going to give you 157.1% increased imbued skill damage and 35 dexterity, while the Dosage rare node provides you with 41.9% potion healing and plus 35 dexterity, assuming you hit all the additional requirements for these rare nodes. Taking a look at the Deadly Ambush board, when maxed out with all of the nodes available for the Tears of Blood at level 200, you're going to receive 4,125.7% increased multiplicative damage. You're also going to enjoy 24.9% damage to enemies affected by trap skills, 50 dexterity, and finally 10% damage reduction from enemies affected by trap skills. The two rare nodes on this board are Cunning and Engineering. Cunning provides you with 41.9% damage reduction from enemies affected by trap skills and 35 dexterity, while Engineering will award you 104.7% increased additional damage to enemies affected by trap skills. Taking a look at the Exploit Weakness Board, whenever you maximize all the options for this Tears of Blood, you're going to receive 3717.7% increased multiplicative damage, 24.9% vulnerable damage, plus 50 dex, and then plus 10% potion healing. The two rare nodes on this board are going to be Artifice and Dosage. Artifice will provide you with 104.7% increased vulnerable damage and 35 dexterity, while Dosage provides you with 41.9% potion healing and 35 dexterity. The Tricks of the Trade board, when maxed out with all the options available, will yield 4,125.7% increased multiplicative damage, an additional 498 armor, plus 50 dexterity, and an additional 39.8% damage to elites. The two rare nodes on this board are Lawless and Focused. Lawless provides an additional 1,047 armor and 35 dexterity, while Focused will yield 167.5% damage to elites and 35 dexterity. It's important to remember Damage to elites also counts as player damage. When maxed out with the Leirana's Instinct board, you're going to appreciate 4,044.1% increased multiplicative damage. You're also going to gain 31.1% damage for 10 seconds after dodging an attack, an additional 50 dexterity, and 7.5% resistance to all elements. The two rare nodes on this board are Faint and Tolerance. Faint will give you 130.9% additional increased damage after dodging an attack and 35 dexterity, while Tolerance will provide an additional 31.4% increased resistance to all enemies and 35 dexterity. The Cunning Stratagem board, when capped out, will provide 3,880.9% increased multiplicative damage, 34.9% increased core skill damage, 50 dexterity, and an additional 498 armor. The two rare nodes on this board are Lawless and Finisher. Lawless will yield 1,047 additional armor and 35 dexterity, 
while Finisher provides 146.6% increased core skill damage and 35 dexterity, assuming you have the additional resources hit to get the bonus on both of those rare nodes. Finally, we arrive at the No Witnesses board. Capping this out will give you 3,962.5% increased damage, 49.8% increased damage, 25 intelligence, an additional 19.9% maximum life, and 25 dexterity. The two rare nodes on the No Witnesses board are Training and Knowledge. Training will give you 41.9% increased maximum life and 35 dexterity, while Knowledge will grant you 103.8% additional increased damage and 35 intelligence. So now that we know every board and we've socketed in every single core node, and again, as much benefit as we can, here's a ranking from all the boards, the most multiplicative damage from first to last. Number one, Cheap Shot comes in at 4,288.9% increased multiplicative damage. Tied for second and third is the two boards Deadly Ambush and Tricks of the Trade. Both of these will yield 4,125.7% increased multiplicative damage. Fourth place would be Lerana's Instinct, which will reward 4,044.1% multiplicative damage. No Witnesses comes through at 3,962.5, sixth place, and seventh place would be tied between Cunning Stratagem and Eldritch Bounty. Both will award 3,880.9%. Then you have Exploit Weakness at 3,717.7% increased multiplicative damage. And lastly is that Starter Board, only giving us 3,636.1%. So now that you know that, we have to look at the secondaries of the rare nodes to see how do you play the game, right? What rogue build is best for you? With this kind of player power, obviously once you're doing content that's not Abattoir of Zir, you're going to melt it all. That kind of damage doesn't exist in the game outside of bugs and exploit damage, right? So you know you're going to collapse everything. So it really comes down to you. Once you put in all the work and you've done all the leveling of all your glyphs and you're navigating through the content freely, how do you want to play? Do you want to do more damage to crowd controlled? Do you want to do more damage when you dodge? Do you want to do more damage to elites? The nice part is you got player choice, and I hope that this video gives you at least a little bit more information so you can start to predict and start planning your Paragon boards with the inclusion of the Tears of Blood from the Abattoir of Zir. In the following days or weeks to come after the Abattoir of Zir launches, I will have an up-to-date rogue build that you guys can use that will account for all this math and, and the choices I want to make and why, because I want to be as informative as I can. I hope this video gives you guys a little bit of insight to the Paragon boards and what this player power is going to feel like if we can cap this thing out. Much love to everybody. Thank you for checking out the video today. Have a great one.